control game really do flow into each other. Right, you can't, I feel people try a little hard to segment them sometimes, but it, it isn't that easy. And I think Ice Climbers are a perfect example of how a character that in my opinion have, has a fundamentally pretty weak neutral game versus most of the top characters yeah. becomes so scary and it in fact buffs their neutral game, right? Because neutral game is all about balancing risk to reward, you know, the weighted RPS. Yeah. Right? And all of a sudden, if the if even your worst uh, mix-ups are back behind the threat of the wobble, suddenly those become... <laughs> incredible. Those become incredible because... Because, like we said, it, it, the the punish game, the neutral game. Because it's, it's not like they can hit you uh, with a one hit KO. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, that was that was a cool little down smash there. I think that might have been player controlled actually. Yeah, I think so. I was talking to Bananas about this just just earlier when we were playing, and uh, I've experienced a little with Wobbles doing it to me too. But I think as as long as they're within a certain proximity of each other, yeah. even if Popo is uh, stunned or doing another move. Yoshi's and Fountain are really good for that because the platforms are lower, so often you can control right. and together. Nana, and Nana will be above or below, and they can still input commands for her. So, talking about this matchup real quick, and Bananas is a player. Uh, Bananas has been uh, making a little bit of a come-up. We have been seeing Ice Climbers of, uh, of other regions, like, you know, there's Fork, and there's, there's a whole bunch of others that, that Army. have come. Army, right, in SoCal, who've come up and done better and better. And I think this is a super test. I mean, if you're part of the Sheik Nation, if Law Dance, one of your, you know, vaunted players, one of your best players of, of the, the Sheikah tribe, yeah. uh, loses the Bananas, I mean, that would be the most damning thing about this matchup that uh, has happened yet. Because Law Dance is one of the best at the matchup, too. His pound run was on the back of one of the only wins <laughs> Sheik has had uh, against Ice Climbers. Uh, and I think I think in that one he, he beat Nintendo. I want to say he, I, he did pretty well. So. That sounds right. And right now he's he's, he's doing all right. Yeah, I think I mean I think he's doing pretty pretty well. I think there are certain matchups where some leads are stronger than others. Yeah. And I feel like in this particular matchup, I we, think maintaining the lead is Sheik is probably pretty important. Yeah, very very. Because um, Sheik struggles to get safe openings, and if the onus is no longer on you to get the safe openings. It's so brutal. It's so brutal. Ooh, that, that was, was so brutal. That lead, like, we were just talking about the lead and it was evaporated. Yeah. And that's difficult to hear. Is the, the difference in punish game with these two characters is... And, and look, the, the side platform stuff, you know, Sheik's talk about how she can use the side platform and shield dropping and all that to beat Ice Climbers, but look how this Ice Climber's countering the side platform, right? Yeah. And the risk reward is so heavily on Ice Climbers' side. I actually feel this is one of Banana's strengths. When I play him, I notice that he is uh, more aware than a lot of players and a lot of Ice Climbers that I've played of opportunities to down smash people while he, like, he catches them on platforms. Yeah. Almost like you would imagine a Peach would, where, like, you come up to hit him and he's like, I'm ready for you, down smash. Or he gets up there on the platform with you and he's right there with the down smash. I see. But uh, Laudan is once again taking the lead. Very important too in that in that two socks two stitch situation. Laudan uh, tries to do a cross up back air. Yeah, that had me worried a little bit. I thought yeah, I could have gotten grabbed. I thought. Yeah. It, uh, Doesn't have that much lag, but yeah. Would have preferred to see a neutral air there. Now right. again, Banana is in a situation and this where is he always, could take a game. Right. This is always a tough situation as the the non ICs player. Can I not get wobbled? Yeah. He's he's, he's reading his uh, platform movement. Uh, I wonder if uh, Laudeus could just get a little bit of separation here. But see, I mean, I think I think this is the type of stuff that makes me really uh, think wow. that bananas, bananas can go places. You see, he hasn't gotten a single wobble, and he's been able to use the threat of the you're, wobble. You're right; he hasn't gotten a single wobble, and he's keeping the super close. It's mostly his aerial game. The fact that he understands the timings. He needs this edge guard, though. He cannot play this as Sopo. He needs to keep going, oh. and he is. Uh, uh, I like the idea. All of a sudden, it's become Laudana's favorite. <gasps> Until oh. that, oh, this and he didn't tag. There the was a moment that he could have back. Yeah. He could have back that. Uh oh. Bananas, can you make it back? This is so tough to Sheik Bear. Oh, he makes it back. Oh, oh the needle catches him. Bananas drops a heartbreaker. Laudana's. That was uh, <laughs> you see yeah. the deep breaths. <laughs> yeah. So hard not to get tilted in that situation he for knew, both players. He knew he. That that was a he clutched that out hard and he was on the brink. Oh yeah, 
I mean, the fact that the side B led to a situation where he did attack, yeah. was stuck in the platform, could have been a free back air for the Ice Climber. And by the way, Sheik was way off stage earlier yeah. against the Sopo. Bananas has got to kick himself. Not a single wobble that game. Uh, and it's going to be a lot harder for Laudanus to avoid it now. The, avoid the ground game on Pokemon Stadium where there's right. no top platform. I mean, I guess we can just assume that they that FD was banned here. Yeah, not yeah. a favorite it's cheek matchup in almost a, not a favorite cheek stage in almost any matchup in ice ICs. You see yeah. what I mean? It's a Peach style down smash, and it's so so strong. This, this matchup, thankfully for Sheik, probably gonna be a little bit better in best of three because FD is gone. Uh, it's the stadium is still really bad, <laughs> actually. Right. Uh, well, at but this. at least there's not two bad stages. There's only one. Right. No, Banana is truly showing oh, the down. gonna be the wobble. The down smash master. Oh, and the handoffs into it. Yeah. The crowd's going nuts. And here he, we're showing Bananas is, is not just a down smash specialist. He has the chain grabs, chain grabs and he has everything. the wobbles. Now this guy's just looking like a good player right now. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know where uh, Laudanus goes without the top platform. That jab from Nana ends up causing all this. Oh, but she throws up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard to know where she'll throw. Only in uncertain stage positionings is it obvious. Right. In the center of the stage, I think there is like some sort of 50-50. Yeah. Oh my you gosh. Wow, oh my goodness. Right, and there we see it again. Um, Bananas knows that he is vulnerable on the top platform. Oh my god. Bananas is going nuts. Oh my <laughs> god, Bananas. Would you say he's going Bananas? He's going to here. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. <laughs> Shout out to my girl, Gwen Stefani. Uh, Bananas is, this guy's a pretty good. <laughs> he gets the side B and Anna still taunts. Where the side B is particular is like its whole purpose is to keep them together in case Nana taunts as soon as you get off of yeah. the top platform. <laughs> it's so kind of many a funny terrifying moment. situations for Laudanus if you just look at like the interactions, you yeah. know, like no. when he throws a needle right inside Wave Dash range, or when he's like trying to land with an aerial and then has to immediately right. spot dodge because he's afraid of the wobble. Like, I think the change of stage is is really like noticeable that he can't uh, needle in as many situations. He no longer has a top platform. The 45 degree needles just cover less space. Yes. And so everything has become more precarious for Law Dandis. He got a good situation to take away Nana. If he's going to make this comeback, this re recovery would be a big right. help. But this but is that situation where it doesn't it doesn't matter. You've gotten Sheik to high enough percent, and er, a yeah. character with a ledge dash as good as Sopo will edge guard Sheik no problem. And, and, and true, true. And, and also, I mean, though Sopo goes away there, Lo Sopo can do a lot of work on low percent Sheik. Yeah. So it's something to watch out for. Crouch cancel on the four tilt. Aldanis has been getting punished by the crouch cancels. I, I swear, Banana's damage this game has has been like 75% down smash. Yeah, this guy's just doing aerials and smash attacks. He's barely done grab combos. It's been working out, but Aldanis now making a fierce comeback. Ooh. He mashes down smash while he gets grabbed. I'm pretty, again, exactly. pretty sure that's player controlled. Uh, Maybe Laudan is not aware of what Nana's capable of when Popo yeah, is still around. you can't be pummeling against, against oh, ICs like that. Oh, this might be it. That's it. And now we got 1-1 one, one going to a game three. Right. All the pressure, in my opinion, is actually on the Sheik. Yeah. Uh, because Ice Climbers caused that pressure. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Well, who's more stressed out in this matchup, right? Definitely. Guaranteed the Sheik. <laughs> Especially when you're as high ranked as Laudan is. Right. Look at my fifth. At pound, right? Like just last year, a guy right. who's been an up and comer. I mean, it's tough to see um, the top player here. The the favorite player could be thinking to themselves, "I really don't want to get upset. Please don't let me get upset." And bananas here it could fall into the trap that so many people in this position do, which is they realize that that they that they're capable. Mm -hmm. But yeah, is he gonna be afraid of the moment? I mean, this kid is really young, right? He's in high school. I think so. So. It's, 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 Laudanus off to a good start. That, that's a, a big key. That's a big key. All right, Laudanus takes it. First stock, huge. Very important, yeah. especially on this stage. I'm actually surprised this wasn't the ban. Because yeah. this has got a really high top platform yeah. for Sheik to escape to. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. I can't imagine what um, what Banana's ban is dead, but he's oh, getting the wobble. He got wobble. the wobble. So where would that lead go? Oh, Laudanus is not happy about it. You can't be. You make that lead, you feel so good about it. Yeah. And you think that's what you're going to ride off of. And yet, here he is, three socks to three against Bananas. 
That's what I mean. It's like we said, the threat of the down smash backed up by the wobble. You, you do, Laudanus does not want to be caught anywhere near the ice climbers, but Bananas will chase him down with those down smashes. Up air down air, man. It's just so scary. Look at that. Up air down air is so good. At least a down smash. Up air down air down smash. Who knew it was even a thing? It's, a, it's working against Sheik. And that's Sheik's got a big shield, but it's yeah. working. Laudanus trying to move around on the platforms, trying to stay away from the, the potential grab. He gets yeah. the opening. And I wonder if that up air down air string, like, if they're trying to shield drop after the up air, does the down air hit them? Is that what's going on? I'm not sure. Like, is that faster? Well, that's a good question to ask. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the shield pressure ends up working out. Okay, okay so Laudanus, good spot here. This might be the end of the stock, but. Still Laudanus in a precarious position. I mean, position. one down smash. Yep. But, I mean, Sheik does have the ability to play a defensive style and build up damage. Right. And the know? top platform here, and the reason why I see tend not to like this, is that they can't really reach the top platform without the double jump. Yeah, exactly. They, in one full hop, they can't touch that, that top platform. They got a double jump. And a Laudanus here, you can see it right now. Yeah. That he, he know, I think he knows it, and he's taking advantage yeah, of it. for sure. Some people, like, especially you know, from the East Coast, from New York, like to say you know, Battlefield's the most balanced stage. But actually, for Ice Climbers, it's probably it's one of the worst stages because yeah. of this reason. That top platform, really high. Yeah, the top platform can be an incredibly polarizing element of this stage. I honestly believe there's no such thing as a neutral stage in Melee. Like, it, neutral, is, it's all relative. Yeah, it's true. Is it neutral for Fox? Is it neutral for, like, what, is it, yeah, what does it yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. It just favors one set of characters versus another. So I love that uh, shield that Laudanus did there. He basically threatened the shield drop so that the, the Sopo couldn't move to help the Nana and rejoin with the Nana. Right. That the threat dope. often as good as the action in melee. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Can Bananas make it back? He actually ended up getting and, hit and into the up B. Yeah. But here we go. Lost Dance for a full with a full stock lead in prime position against Bananas. Trying to take this set in a historically disadvantaged matchup. The down air again. Yep. And now it leads him off stage. Okay, nice tech on the back. That was yeah. actually really critical. Uh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little scary, but thankfully he's on a platform so he can't get grabbed. Right. And, and luckily for, for Sheik here, um, Icy's up air is not, doesn't exactly lead to much more. Maybe up air back air at best, right? Yeah. Well, Dan is just saying, stay on the top platform. He's just trying to build up yep. any damage, any damage. Look at that, retreating immediately to the top platform. I think. Wow, jab down smash. That could be the stock. We could be going to last stock here. Oh my. Texas versus NorCal. Lottie Dottie versus hey, Bananas. You, you hear the crowd getting into it. We are in Texas. I think Bananas. Yeah. Is, I think Bananas probably has the crowd support here. Absolutely. Now let's see. Oh, oh no. that could be a grab! Oh, oh my god, he mashed his jump right out of it. That was a such a clutch jump so fast. <laughs> he needed that. Oh, the, the shield low. His shield drops down. The shield got broken! Oh, but oh, the get up! Nana. He can control Nana! He can still control <laughs> Nana during that! Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That was great. <laughs> that was clever. That's actually a benefit of Ice Climbers. If Popo loses the shield, Nana can protect. Break so Sam couldn't do very much. Laudanus couldn't do very much. Break both shields or, or bust, I guess. Yeah. Oh. He fakes it. He's like, I'm not going in there. Yeah, he goes <laughs> I'm to the not going in there. Oh, he separates them. He does. This is important. Can he oh. save it? He needs to save the. Oh, oh he maybe he did it. Maybe it was a bait. Oh, oh. he missed. He missed. Misreads the distance. That could be. Oh, but this is still so dangerous. For it's super dangerous. Still one down up. smash. Not gonna. Oh, is that it? Really? Yeah. Wow. On battlefield. Yeah. There you go. Laudanus gets it. I really think. That edge card sequence. Yeah. That's all it took. It was just that. Yeah. If he j 